Maggie. At the curve. We're at the curve. It's Monday, and today we open at the Leicester curve. We're just in the lift waiting to go down for sound check, and apparently the lift isn't working. Oh, you press the button? Yeah. Press the closed the closed door button. Do oh, there we go. We're going. Oh, oh no. Yes. Ah, you just got here in time. So if you haven't been here to the curve. It's a really interesting venue because up there is the hallway for the dressing rooms but then down here this big wall gets taken out at the end of the show and you can see backstage so that right there is backstage and here is the public area obviously none of this will be here when it's the show but there you go and that's it going down real slowly real slowly Unboxing for you. Do it. Open here. Higher off, then. Over here, Iki. That's not us, is it? No, it's. A prayer, qua. A prayer, a key. I hope it's not breakable. Ooh, just treats Luna edition. Because he loves me. <laughs> Two hours later. Two hours later. Ah. Oh. Yes, to the retro sweets and the flying saucers and the fizz whiz and the double dips. Oh my god, there's so much. I love it. Oh my god, curly wally. Is he trying to find me off? What's he trying to do? Love it. Right. Fantastic. That'll last me two days. It's showtime. And as you can see, down there, I've got a nervous. There's the audience people going in. And we've got to walk through that corridor. First position, I'm going to take Demi. Don't Demi. <laughs> and Grand Piano. Grand. 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 Grand Piano. Grand, Grand Piano. <laughs> <laughs> and now we walk through this corridor and there's audience just there wild hi, hi. hi. and that's show one done here at the curve in leicester got some drinks now I'm gonna have myself a nice orange juice because uh she needs to save the gift you know tuesday on show day had a duvet day today real cute snuggle with the dog we're going for it it's wednesday morning Ooh, there's low I don't know if you can hear that, but the neighbors are having a wonderful time. It's 8 a.m., turn your music off. Unacceptable. <gasps> there he is. Biggie. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Not me thinking these were like little kids <laughs> standing on the street corners. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. It is Thursday. We've done the show. And now, me and Nathan are back at the digs and we've got a very special guest, Jack Allen Anderson. Otherwise known as Venus Everest. And for the first time ever, Nathan is being put into a full face of drag. So here's Nathan before. <laughs> what we do is really <laughs> emphasize the egg. And then I'm gonna show you during, and then what I'll do is I'll show you him after. 
All right, here she comes. Come to see you. Hello, baby. Who's this? <laughs> Don't you dare kiss this mug. Who's this? this? Which one? Oh. So, a couple of weeks ago, I took you behind the scenes of our wonderful wardrobe department, and today, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes of our wonderful wigs department. However, I can't find them. Oh, I think I found it. Hold up, what's this? Aha! Wigs department. I don't know if this is the wig room though. We'll find out. It is not. So I'm going to walk around this way. See if I can... Nope. <laughs> it's going well. That literally, that says wigs department, right? Oh! oh. Ah, here they are! Hi. Our wonderful world of wigs! <laughs> Wonderful Lee Allen, who is our head of wigs here on the Priscilla UK tour. And who's this wonderful wig that you're working on right now? I'm doing Tom's Lay Girl wig. Yeah, you are. Did you save this especially? I did. I saved it just for you. Mm. The others are done, but I knew you wanted to film today. So, so. you're like, ah, so what we'll do is we'll leave the best till last. Yes. <laughs> So talk me through the process of what you're going to do to this wig today. Okay, so what I'm going to do, first I'm going to try and get all the knots out. Because mm -hmm. then... there's a lot of hairspray and there has to be. Yeah, there's a lot of hairspray and there's a lot of water in it because mm -hmm. we bake them. And so because obviously they do a dance routine in the wigs, this then allows us to maintain them and control the wigs. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of movements, so if that uh, starts moving around with us... It's got to be done in a way that you are able to dance and it not affect the choreography. Mm -hmm. You are very good at taking it off though, Tammy, do not destroy it. Yeah. Say so that again on camera. <laughs> You're very good at taking this wig off at the end of the number. Yes, I am. You don't rip it off, you gently take it off and place it now. And sometimes the wig cap comes off with it, doesn't Which it? Which like, do yeah. you want? Yeah. <laughs> Smooth operator. That's right, you heard it first. I have the most respect for the wigs. And he keeps our station clean. Well, I used to when we Messy. first started the tour. Yeah, but you, we just all gave up. So you're putting in... Some Vitapoint to okay. get it a bit smooth. What is Vitapoint? Vitapoint is a leave-in conditioner, which is very, like, it's a very special... 
cool for a wiggy because it gets all the flyaways and stuff. It mm -hmm. helps you can control the hair. So yeah, they've stopped making it. It's like an old lady product. So how are you going to get that now? Don't know. Whenever we find a chemist that has it, we buy it. Otherwise, just have to find something else. Another product, really. And then spray it with water. What's the benefit of spraying water over it? So basically, I spray it with water to reactivate all the product and everything in the wig. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> I pop the waves back in. They're done every day on a two-show day. They're done twice. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's so cool how you manipulate the hair as well, like that. Thanks. It's taken a long time to learn. A lot of people, some people can wave, some people can't. Um, I had to teach myself. Well, I was taught, but then I practiced on myself. Mm -hmm. Like I can wave one side of my head. You can't wave the other. No, because I'm not <laughs> left-handed. I can wave too. Ah, so then you put those little pins in. Yeah. And then will you hairspray that or will that just kind of stay? Because yeah. there's already product in it. There's there? product in there already. So what we do, because of the wave bit, I've got to keep that bit out because i have to wave that and then pin it back but then i start turn it around on this side and see you can see all the bends and everything already there so yeah. so you just kind of follow those bends that are already yeah, there don't you that's it in like that move it up i'm just going to point out that red part that kind of pinkish part of the wig there that's because we have a little accessory accessory that goes in there isn't it so just kind of it's transferring a bit of the color but that's all right yeah it'll get covered again Ah, oh, it looks lovely already. Me. A bit more water. Get those little flyaways in. I'm also filming a time lapse there, as you can see. So I'm gonna wave, and we'll put that in after. So how many wigs do we have in the show then all together? Are you gonna to count the? Are you gonna count the wigs now? Yeah. And then let me know how many you've got. Yes. Okay. And then you just pop them back in. It's amazing what a clip can do. Like and I'm amazed at how quick you're doing it as well. Oh, just, you are making me a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Only because I'm not used to ever being filmed, but hey. Well, you're, you're a natural on the camera, I must say. Do you want the number of wigs including the colour wigs or just the Every number? single wig. Oh God. So there's nine, if you look in that trundle, we've got three divas on stage, but then we need all the cover wigs for the divas. So you'll see them all. And how many trundles do you have? Two. Two trundles, which is a lot less than the wardrobe department because yeah. when I was chatting to them, they've got like got... 18 or something yeah. crazy. But obviously what they do takes a bit more space doesn't mean it's any easier yeah. uh, for you guys it just means that what you have is a lot less smaller yes yeah. it's less bulky isn't it it's probably yeah. around in total 56 weeks i will take if i've added it up right which i probably haven't but i know it's over 50. if if you are wrong with that i need you to let me know i will i'll do and double, i will double count yeah and Don't i will correct the video in the basket yeah i've already counted them the laws yeah count the them. teardrops yeah count them all <laughs> Who are the teardrops? What are they? Well, that's the oh, the teardrops. You, yes, that one there. But that's not my wig, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. That's your teardrop, darling. Because the shapes are already there. Mm -hmm. Just kind of manipulating it back in, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. Mm. Is this your favorite one to do? Uh, this and Bernadette. Look at that! <laughs> Ta-da! So good and so quick as well. Whenever I put this wig on, well, I say whenever I put it on, whenever Becky puts it on my head, I always think, God, these must take forever to do. But you've done that in like five minutes. I'm not sure how long it took, but yeah. Right. And now you're just doing the fringe as well now? Yeah. So just get it nice and neat. And then we give it a little spray. And then again, to reactivate all the products and stuff, like it's not like any normal, you know, everything that you kind of get learn about styling hair and stuff will change with the show mm -hmm. because you need it to last for the performance. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for whatever that performance requires. Yeah. So the trick with shows like this has got to be glue, water and different types of gels. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. It's such a fast-paced show as well that yes. you can't afford to be uh, well, it's the only way to, rushing. It's the only way to make these look the style that the designer wanted mm -hmm. and maintain it. So now, are you going to pop this in the wig oven? This is going to go in the wig oven now. Great, let's go. Okay. In here, next. There's Ronan's and there's mine going in. Oh, don't drop there her. <laughs> She's a delicate lady. Yeah. And then that one comes out that just went in, right? That one? So yeah. it's like one in, one out. It's like a nightclub. Well, kind of, yeah. It's just I don't think it needs an awful lot, so... And I will tweak it and just make sure the shape's correct. Let's tweak it then. <laughs> so now you're both working on the same wig. These are these also after they've been baked, they need to cool down mm -hmm. as well. Is she quite hot? They can be. See this one now, I feel like it's actually a little bit soft, so I would probably put more spray on it and then more water and bake it again. We'll pop it back in the oven. Yeah, and it's not makes... quite cooked just yet. Yes, and it makes it nice and tough. So this is Becky, one of our lovely. What do you call yourself? Wig mistresses. Wigs deputy. Wigs deputy. What are you doing now? Tell me what you're doing. Uh, so I'm just going to clean the lace. So mm -hmm. as you know, so I can't former. see it on the camera right now because it's so. So this is the lace, yes. but a lot of performers will wear a lot of makeup mm -hmm. during the shows, which sticks to the lace, which is when you get a bit of residue. So we clean them every night mm -hmm. or every morning before we then block them up and restyle them. So then they look fresh and you don't have old and decaying lace on your face. Stunning. Yeah. That's not the only thing you're going to do to this wig, is it? No, I'm going to restyle her. She's a bit messy at the minute. So yeah. just going back into this, just a lot tidier, which will take me a couple of minutes. And this is our Marion wig yeah. for uh, Bex. For the top of the show where she's in her pyjamas. Yep. <laughs> my toothbrush. And what's in the toothbrush? It is IPA. IPA, there it is. The good stuff. Isopropyl alcohol, That's as we it. say in the business. Do you want a shot? Thank God. Just don't drink it. That would never happen. Yeah. <laughs> so Bex, what are you doing right now to Claudia's diva wig? I'm currently putting a hairnet on. Mm-hmm. Just to cover the curls that I have recently recurled. Okay. To put it in so it stays in place. Protects the curls mm -hmm. and keeps the shape. So you've got two trundles. Two skips. Two skips, which and from... a kosh cupboard. A kosh cupboard. Ah, yes. The uh, the flammables, which is that right there, right? Yeah. yeah. The yellow cupboard. That's it. Let's see what's in here. It's very... It's all over the place. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is very flammable. I didn't, right there. I didn't clean it the other day, but it didn't last long. No, they never clean. They're always a mess. Every get out, I kind of reorganize it, and then it moves and it all goes everywhere. Every show I've ever worked on, they've always been a mess. You can't tidy them. You can't. <laughs> so you've got two channels, uh, the kosh thing, uh, whatever that thing is next to it, that bin, right? That's not ours. Oh, it's not ours. Okay, not that. And then you've got a hot box as well. Yes. The wig oven. So I think, Bex, you're going to show me the wig oven, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, let's go then. So Becky is going to show me what they call the wig oven. We're doing some baking. Baking. you baking the wigs? Yeah. Why do you put them in the wig oven? Because then it sets the sets that we've done. Mm -hmm. And also we use a lot of water and hairspray yeah. to dry them. It just means they'll last a lot longer for the show. Oh, okay. And they're kept separately. Normally we will have this with us, but there is no room in our room and it gets really hot. Ah. So it's also the same kind of hot box that wardrobe use. Mm -hmm. We've got wigs on it. Yes, of course. Ooh. So we're currently baking. So how long do they stay in there for? Minimum of an hour. So okay. They don't need that long. Like I said, acrylic doesn't need that long at all. And what would happen to these wigs if you left them overnight? Would they just melt? This would shut off. Oh, would it? Yeah. I think okay. It's got that four hour timer. 
Thank God. And is this the only wig oven that you have? Yeah. Just the one? You don't need more than that, do you? On a bigger show, you would. But not so much on this one. Okay. Okay. They come out all crispy. Are they warm? This one's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's so weird. That's such a weird feeling. Yeah, you feel it on this one. Ooh! Oh, I don't like it. It's like wire. Also, if we have very sweaty wigs, we'll stick them in here for 10 minutes because it'll dry them out. There's Lee Allen putting another one in there. Whose wig is that? This is Aisha's. Right. She was taken apart and put back together. Okay. So How long does it take you to take apart and put to back together? 45 minutes. Oh, cute. Have you seen in the wig oven? I have. In How long back. is she going in there for? They need to bake for about, I don't know, they can bake for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So they've got to cool down. 10 to 15 minutes at 200 degrees yeah. on a fan assisted oven. <laughs> Yeah, she looks gorgeous in it. Yeah, she really does. So this is Gracie's Cynthia wig. Um, I'm not gonna ruin the show for you, but don't let this lovely demure wig fool you. Uh, Cause the, the character that wears it <laughs> is not demure. Oh no. No, quite naughty in fact, but iconic. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. She it's also, so nice. She also goes upside down. So it she has, does, it yeah. It has to be like Fort Knox. <laughs> Luke, tell me what you're doing right now. I'm unblocking them, ready to go down to the show. How long does it take you to, get, to do the, the get out at the end of the week? We're quite quick now. We're usually out by about 11. Okay. Like, so if the show comes down about quarter past about 45 minutes. Because we're packing up as the show is going on. Yeah, I hate that feeling though, when it, especially when it's like the end of tour. Yeah. And every, as you're taking stuff off, it gets packed away and never to be seen again. It's yeah. like, oh God, the theatre looks so empty now. Yeah. That's such a gut-wrenching moment yeah. in my career. <laughs> my very long, vast career. So once you've set the wig and it's all finished, the next thing for us to see is someone doing a wig prep, isn't it? Yes. And then just before the show, at a certain time, they'll come here to the wig room, I assume. Yeah. And you guys will put the wig on their head, right? And attach it. So let's see them doing that. So it's our last show here in Leicester and what I'm going to do is show you our side of stage, wigs area. So if I take my phone back here a little bit, the stage is just there and here I've got several wigs just waiting to be put onto some budding actors just here. And if I come around the front of this trundle here, you'll see more wigs here waiting to go as me. So we've got these two mirrors as well. Lots and lots of tissues because let me tell you, we get very, very sweaty in this show pins and hairsprays and everything and then in here this is my makeup specifically for me so no one else uses it and there's uh rebecca's makeup there is marion and several other people's and we've got some glitters here so we all sparkle on stage and then behind just over here opposite the wigs area is uh some theater magic and what i'm gonna do is let you into a little priscilla queen of the desert secret so when you're watching the show, you think to yourself, how did they put all that drag makeup on so quick and then get it off and then put it back on again? Well, let me break a little secret for you. This is it. So this one's mine. I'm gonna show you how it goes on. So usually what happens is once we've done a kind of wig change, etc., or, you know, once we've taken something off her head and we're about to put something else on, that goes on there like that. And then really quick, I'm gonna show you. I'll take a lipstick. Oh, <laughs> I won't do that. Take a lipstick real quick like that. 
and then I'll take a lip liner and I'll just darken the underneath there just to extend the lower lip a little bit and then I will cake up the top of the lip and then add a wig and then that's it, you're done. I'm going to take this lip off now because I don't need it for the opening of the show. That's a little secret for you. Woo! <laughs> anyway, while I'm here, it's rude not to uh, make use of that. All right. Just noticed this giant googly eye as well. It's not moving. Becky, what are you doing? I'm just doing my preset before the show. Oh, so you do have a preset? I do have a little one, yeah. What are you doing? So I'm just getting this wig out for my first change okay. for Bex. And then I've got flannels and stuff to get out of the basket to put on the table. Well, show me what you're going to do with it. Come on then, show me. I need to get past it. Oh, that was smooth, wasn't it? Yeah, just like me. Should get taken out with oh, it. Uh, getting glitters, etc. They're going in as well. Some math, no, I'm getting them out. So these are people's quick changes later. Yeah, so I I've... just showcased them as well. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, he's a good boy, isn't he? Yeah, behind the scenes magic. And then I go in here, put them next to the chair. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> So that goes there. And that goes there. I like to keep the blocks all off the desk because as you can see it can get very crowded. Yeah, it does get busy there, doesn't it? It's a lot. Look how busy it gets around here. And then when you've got like several people putting on wigs and makeup at the same time, yes. it's very busy. We've only got two mirrors, haven't we? Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> So now everyone has moved away from the table. Finally. Becky yeah. is going to give one last tidy of the place. Oh. oh. <laughs> Before we start the show. Because this can get very messy, can't it? Very good. Very hectic. Lots of tissues, lots of lipstick everywhere, yeah, lots of you glitter. You're very good. Yes, thanks. Say that again for the camera. You're very good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we just like to make sure this table stays quite tidy because as you can see, all these boxes here, they all belong to individuals and, yeah and You've got two. I do have two boxes yes because I've got one for every personality yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right Becky I'm gonna leave love you and leave you now thanks for giving me a little quick brief on what you do before the show thanks for joining thank you for having me bye, bye. so it's time for the last show here in Leicester it's been emotional the curve if you do come here and if they've got cheesecake on the menu at the cafe get it Go, Luke, for the last time. <laughs> it's been emotional. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our wigs department here on Priscilla Queen of the Desert, UK tour, Das Musical. Bye. And enjoy the ride. <laughs>